the nation is coming to terms with the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump, but how could this impact elections? I spoke with a political analyst who talked to me about how this could possibly impact the race. A couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Video of the assassination attempt on President Trump quickly reached millions. The political climate in the U.S. was already tense, but now voters may be grappling with feelings of shock, uncertainty, and anxiety after a major act of political violence. It's very, very scary that a gun can be used in a situation like this. I mean, any political party, it doesn't matter who you are, shouldn't be assassinated. I think we have to show a little bit of uh, composure and uh, be assiduous when we um, talk about our politics. Bobby Larshide is the rare San Franciscan committed to voting red this election. Just a sad day for our country and a sad commentary on where we're at, I guess, as a, as a nation. But uh, I'm going to vote for Trump. Though Larshide was already planning to vote for Trump, the assassination attempt solidified his support. We talked to Cal State history and communications professor Dr. Nolan Higdon for some perspective on the impact of political violence. He said a bump in support is normal. Usually approval numbers do increase after these type of events. America has seen this type of reaction before, with other historical events like 9-11 and the last presidential assassination attempt in 1981 with Ronald Reagan. Depending on who you ask, but somewhere around 8 to 10 to 15. Um, Points in the polls is what he jumped after the, the shooting attempt. But increased approval may not translate to the voting booth, especially not for young voters. We did see a lot of um, polling uh, focused on the apathy of young voters um, over the last year or so. Uh, one thing that uh, the American electorate seems to agree upon is that they really don't like either of these candidates um, going into the election, young people in particular. Higdon says it's up to the politicians to inspire the electorate to show up at the booth. Yes,